Hey Hornets, it's Mrs. Shower. I'm still at the gardens. I've been working really hard. I'm sure you could tell because I look like I've been working really hard in the garden, but I haven't been working too hard. And it occurred to me that I probably should tell you about that, tell you why I haven't been working as hard as I could have been. It's because I've had help. Want to see? I had help from this guy right here. And this guy right here helped me too. I had a lot of help. Saved my muscles a lot of work with this guy right here. And I had some other ones too. But I seem to have misplaced them. They're around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. All right, I had help from this guy too. He helped me uh, nail in the, uh, the nails for the square foot garden so I could, uh, you know, have all the strings going in nice neat rows. I had to attach them to nails right here. And let's see if I can get that. Yep. Can you see the nail? So that nail is doing me a favor. And the way I got it in is with this guy. So. A lot of uh, examples of what I'm talking about in that thing that's flying overhead right now. It's kind of noisy. I'll wait for that to go overhead and then I'll finish. So anyway, there's something that all of these things have in common. This cultivator here. And I have a little cultivator too. I didn't show you that. This little cultivator, it's a Korean ho me, it's called. Ho me. And it is the most awesome tool. It is like five tools in one because it's sharp right here and it's also sharp right here and it has a handle so that I can use it to pull or cut so it has a lot of different purposes oops sorry about that so what's this the uh, the the keyword I'm looking for does anybody know I think third graders probably know what it is because they're studying it right now simple machines and when you put a bunch of simple machines together you get compound machines so the different simple machines um, make work easier so that's what I was talking about in the beginning I was working hard but not as hard as I could have been so for example um, this clod of soil right here I can use my hand to try and make it go into smaller pieces yep I was able to squeeze it really hard and get it to turn into soil. But it's a lot easier for me to use one of my cultivators. Where did I just put it? I dropped it here. So instead of squeezing really hard on every single clod, I can just use my, my simple machine to cut into it. So when I'm cutting into it, I'm using a wedge. So that's one simple machine is a wedge. Something that either cuts or it wedges into something. That's a wedge. Uh, let's see. For um, anything that has a handle to it. That's called a lever. That's a simple machine called a lever. So anything with a handle is a lever. So is this a lever? It is because it has a handle. And I go like that. There's a fulcrum we can talk about later. So this is, uh, this is a lever. It's a couple other things too. You see this thing here? So this part's sharp. It can cut. You remember what simple machine cuts? It starts with the same thing as, um, as uh, water. What's that first letter in the word water? W, right? So it can be a wedge. So I can actually take a, let's see if I can find a nail. If I wanted to take one of those nails out, I could wedge my hammer. Let's find one. See, I'm using it to move soil. So I could wedge my hammer right here on this nail. Hopefully you can see that. I can wedge it in between those two things. I've wedged that nail in between the two claws and I can actually pull it out. Now I couldn't do that with my finger. It wouldn't come out but I'm making this work, this job easier by using a wedge to pull it out. So, um, yeah, so that one, 
is actually two simple machines in one. It's a lever and it's a wedge. So what does that make it? It makes it a compound machine. This is another compound machine. And oh boy, I'm gonna have to hold, do a whole separate video on just how many simple machines are combined to make a wheelbarrow. But that is like a beautiful example of just about every simple machine there is. So there's uh, the wedge, uh, the, the lever, the screw, the incline plane, and I'm forgetting the other one. Oh, uh, um, the uh, pulley and the wheel and axle. So those are all the different um, simple machines. We'll talk more about them later, but I just wanted to show you how um, just these simple machines made it possible for me to get all the weeds out of here and also um, to um, move the soil. Oh, here's another one. I just almost forgot this one too. So what kind of a simple machine do you think this is? Or is it a compound machine? Hmm. I will leave that for you to decide. There's one or more than one simple machine in this shovel right here. It's got a handle. It also has a sharp edge that I can use to cut into the soil. Hmm. Okay, we'll talk more about that later. Simple machines are awesome in the garden.